Good afternoon everyone, this is Eric again, Northwest Bus Sales. Thank you for your time. All right, here we go. Check this one out. This is a uh, 2004 Chevy Turtle Top. So this, is, uh, this has been a conversion. It's been converted to a limo bus. So this originally was not a purpose-built limo bus. It was originally a seated bus, So, it, but it has since been converted. So it's 2004 Chevy Turtle Top. And uh, let's see, obviously it's black as you can tell here. And it's nice to see a little different color shuttle bus than, than white, you know, I like it. So, co-pilot seat right here. Looks like it's uh, got some seat covers on it here. Also over there on the driver's seat as well. And uh, tilt wheel. Uh, you know, a lot of your typical shuttle bus features. AM, FM, CD player, touch screen right there. Driver and passenger, heat and AC. Control panel up top there for the courtesy lighting and passenger entry door that kind of stuff it's got 219,000 on it that's on the six liter Chevy that's a gas engine it's a v8 gas engine awesome engine those things I've seen man Chevy's had really good results with that engine so it uh, power windows and locks also on both sides here so uh, driver's side running board or pardon me passenger side running board let's check her out inside and see how she looks so uh, Dual entry grab bars. Also right here we've got an ice chest right as you come in. So it's got a lid right up top here. And uh, it's not a refrigerator, it's just a chest. You hold a lot of ice and a little storage compartment down here also. To store, keep drinks nice and cold. I better turn that down. Well, there we go, a little sublime for you. All right, so uh, also here's the passenger area. As you can tell here, uh, AM, FM, CD player here in the back and also a DVD player. Flat screen TV, a couple of speakers up top there, some tweeters there also, and here's the control panel. They're all labeled, oh, Pearl Jam. Oh yeah, I can dig that. All right, uh, looks like 12 volt plug-in, also auxiliary cord plug-in, a couple spots there and there. A uh, little, little uh, privacy curtain here, there for the driver. Uh, I think I mentioned everything up front there. 219,000 on the six liter. Uh, windshield seems to be in good shape. I'm not seeing any chips or cracks. Power windows and door locks also, as I mentioned. Cruise control, tilt wheel, automatic transmission, and driver and passenger heat and AC. All right, look at that. Check it out. Tour style windows that are tinted. It looks like sliders up top here. You got some curtains that are on some little fasteners right here that you can undo and these curtains, privacy curtains, will fall down as well. Be a good little party bus, you know. Uh, as you can tell, I got a lot of light, lights flashing here, a little disco ball there in the back, some LEDs up top there. Uh, it looks like a leather interior, hardwood faux floor, and cup holders and stuff back in there, ice buckets and what have you, a lot of cup holders all the way around. Seating capacity, yeah, I'm not real certain about it. It's always kind of hard to tell with limo buses, so. Probably looking around eight to ten adults would be my guess, but don't hold me to that. Look at these little things going on down here. I'll tell you what, that's pretty cool looking. I don't know what, the first thing that comes to mind, that might be like, like a Tesla coil, but I don't know if that's correct. Although if it's not, I know Nikola Tesla would probably be really disappointed in me saying that. Anyhow, but it's pretty cool. So look at that. Mmm. Kind of neat. Got one over there and also one over there. Actually, as far as the camera goes, looks like the, there's actually three of them, but there's not. There's just there's just one because this is all mirrored underneath here. Check it out. Mm -hmm. Looks pretty cool. Tell you what, be a good prom vehicle, something like that. The high schoolers would love it. There's the AC vents up top there. Oh yeah. Uh, got some grab bars going the length of the of the ceiling here on both sides as well. Looking pretty cool. I like it. So, uh, as I mentioned, flat screen TV uh, and DVD player. So, all right, let's walk around her outside a little bit. Body and paint. You are going to see some minor dings and scratches throughout this bus. Nothing major, though, I don't think. It looks like uh, LED uh, clearance lights, running lights right there midship. I should probably show you the tires here. Also, stainless steel wheel covers. She's looking like she's got a whole lot of tread on her. Look at that. Lots of tread. And then also the passenger side rear duels. Mm -hmm. Give you a look underneath there. Can you see that all right? All right. 
tinted glass on the entry door. All the passenger glass is tinted as well. Looks to be in good shape. Not seeing any cracks or anything on those. So uh, LED clearance lights up top, LED backup lights, brake lights, turn signals, the whole daggum thing. And let's open up. We've got a little rear entry door in the back here, a little storage area. You can see some brooms and dust pans and whatnot. So there we go. Yep. Uh, nice black paint. As I mentioned, some minor dings and scratches throughout the exterior. Let's get a look at the, the tires here on the driver's side rear duels. Looking good. She's knee deep in tread. Undercarriage here a bit. And then also the front driver's side. See that? All right. Driver's side running board. There we go. 219,000 on the 6 liter V8. That's Chevy 6 liter V8 gas engine. Power, windows, and locks. All right, I think that'll just about do it for this baby. So I do appreciate your time. Pardon the glare off of this paint right now. It's a beautiful day here in the Northwest. Check us out online, nwbus.com, or please call with any questions, 800-231-7099. Thanks.